Hello everyone and welcome to this new and exciting session in which we are going to treat ensembling. So up to this point we have been treating models separately. That is, we build a ResNet model, train this model on some inputs and outputs and then later on expect to pass an input and get an output which corresponds to the input we passed in. Now on the section on ensembling, what we will be building here would be an ensemble or a group of different models which will be put together to form one model or one block such that now we pass our input and then we get our output wherein this output here is a weighted sum of all the individual outputs delivered by each and every model. So in the session we are going to look at this ResNet 34 and this um, pre-trained model is actually an efficient net model we could see this right here and we'll build an ensemble or a group or family of models from this two models which we've already built don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this just before we start it's important to note that we've already trained this resnet 34 model and this pre-trained model based of efficient net model so we have these two models and we want to create this ensemble of the made of these two models here now we should note that after evaluating these two models we got 84.1 percent accuracy and 82.9 percent accuracy for the rest net and pre-trained models respectively so now to create this ensemble we're just gonna simply start here and define our input we have inputs which is a uh, tensorflow input and then we specify the shape so we have our shape here configuration m size there we go we have the m size and then we put this others here so we have this um, shape which is specified and then once we have the shape specified, we'll have two outputs. Let's call this one Y1, which is from the ResNet 34. It takes in the inputs. And then we also have this other one, Y2, from the pre-trained model. So pre-trained model takes in inputs. Here we should have inputs. And that's it. Now once we have this um, two outputs, what we are going to do here is we're gonna create this ensemble so we'll call this ensemble model and it's a model a tensorflow model which takes in some input which is actually this inputs here inputs and then also the outputs now for the outputs we're gonna define it here let's let's call this output so we have our output and this output is um uh, a linear combination of these two models output here so here we have 0 0.5 times y1 plus 0 0.5 times y2 so that's it so we have this output now and then here outputs equal output so that's fine so we we have this ensemble model we run this and that should be fine this is okay now let's go ahead and evaluate this model but before evaluating this model you should compile it so we could get here and simply do this so we could do ensemble model compile and that should be fine so we have the ensemble model compiled now we'll take this off because we just wanted uh, to do this for testing or to create the ensemble actually so we have this uh, ensemble model which we've created and then now that we have this ensemble model created let's go ahead and evaluate this model so let's create a code cell here copy this paste this out here and we have the ensemble ensemble model okay so we have that now let's evaluate the model and see what we get there we go we see we have a slight improvement uh from this higher uh, accuracy here we go from 84.1 to 84.43 so this means that this ensemble model which is a combination of these two models is now better performing than uh, each and every one of them it should be noted that this one was trained for 
20 you know 40 epochs and this was trained for only 20 epochs so if you train this longer you should get uh, results even better than this and uh, and better still the ensemble model should perform even better than the two and so with this we've just seen the uh, how to carry out ensembling with tensorflow and it should be noted that this technique is greatly used especially in competitions like uh kaggle and zindi where you are struggling to get the best possible performance and so after building or after training several models you could then combine these models into one model and see if that gets you a step further in terms of model performance